Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to virtual coffee break with Tanisha. I've been gone for a couple of weeks. I was uh, under the weather, but I am back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Stacy, Martina, Rochelle, Michael, Kim, Stephanie, good to see you. Debbie and Bethany, Terrence, Shamika, Zeta, Kanisha, Tyrese. How is everyone doing? How have y'all been doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing great, doing great. Feels good to be back. I missed y'all. I could not wait to get on today. Looking forward to um, just just getting back in the swing of things. So we are, oh my goodness, let's see. July 9th is coming up real quick. Hey, Beverly, good to see you. July 9th is coming up real quick. Everybody know what July 9th is? What's significant about the date July 9th? Deadline, the deadline. Date. <laughs> right. It's it's the date. Yes, it is the cutoff date to be recognized um, at convention and have the opportunity to walk the stage. And so I want everybody to make sure they are going for the Fireball Award. What does it take? What are the requirements to get that corporate Fireball Award and walk the stage? Anybody? Uh, you need um, nine people. Exactly, mm -hmm. Michelle. Nine ITAs who are also Planet Marketing reps. Nine ITAs that are also Planet Marketing reps. Who's who's going for it? Honestly, honestly, going who's it. going for it? Bethany, how far are you away? How many do you have out of the nine so far? Well, we won't talk about that part. <laughs> no, that's the and, question. It, come on, no, let's keep it real. Because I have people who um who are kind of back and forth and up and down and stuff. So I'm not worried about those folks. I'm gonna move forward. I had I had one person sign up on Friday, a new person signed on Friday. Yeah. Um, I had an international my first business, my first international business partner signed up recently. Excellent. Um, so that's, that's good. I had three way calls this week. I think I had three scheduled so far this week. So I'm going to go forward with the people, people who want to do something, not worried about the people who Got are it. up and down and back and forth. So, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. But, but honestly, honestly, I think about from nine, I am six away. Okay. Five, five away. All right. Good. Good job. Anybody else who's going for it? And where are you in that hunt? I'm going for it. All right, Shamika, where you at out of the nine? How many you got? Woo, I feel like huh, we ain't gonna talk about that. I'm <laughs> I may need about about seven. Okay. Uh, but that's I mean, I've done it before, so I'm really just going back to the basics on when I was going forward before. Right. And I mean, I'm just I'm continuing on. I'm, I'm not stopping, so I'm going back to the basics. Excellent, excellent. Felicia says she's going for it. She needs five more. Martina says she's going for it. She needs three more. I love it. Anybody else? Where y'all at with your numbers? Going for the nine. I'm going for it. All um, right, Kanisha, I'm pretty new. So far? <laughs> well, I just I just started two weeks ago, but oh, I'm, welcome. I'm eight. Tell us that. <laughs> I will have to get eight. Kanisha. <laughs> I will have to get eight. I have um one so far, but excellent. I'm 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 pushing and so. I do have the goal for myself. Okay, now Kanisha, where are you from and who's your sponsor? Um, I am located in Texas in Dooney Adam. Yes. Okay, uh, good. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Well, welcome. Welcome, Director Short. How are you? I know you're going for that Fireball Award. Where are you at with, with your numbers to get in that nine for Fireball? Hello, Director Berg. How Hello. you doing, beautiful? I am doing great. How are you? I am great. I'm working on it. I, I want the fireball. I want it all. <laughs> I know that's right. How many? How many more do you need for fireball? Um, I think I kind of think I secure my fireball. If not, I probably need one more. Okay, excellent, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Oh, 
Beverly, how about you? I'm too. I'm two away. I'm working on it right now, too. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. I love I'm it. working Everybody. on it. Everybody so there's no soon be one right. away. We got to keep moving. Absolutely. Everybody should be working on uh, getting that Fireball Award. Um, I'm working on mine. I'm, of course, I'm two weeks behind because I couldn't do anything um, while I was fighting to stay healthy. So now I have to kick it into overdrive. The other um, contest that's out there is the 100K, right? The 100K dash, and that is a push to get us to 100,000 active agents, at which point we'll, we will be in momentum. And all you need to get that 100K pin from Mr. Bradley is four active ITAs. So if everybody focuses on going for the fireball, you can just trip into the um, the four ITAs and to get that pin. And I know I want that pin, so I'm working on that as well. So I want everybody to push for that. So how how do what do we need to do to get there? How do we do it? It's very simple. Increase your PS3. That's it. Ta da! <laughs> That's the secret sauce. You have to increase your exposures. And what I mean by that is how many people are you peaking a day? That is the real question. How many people are you peaking every single day? Who honestly, honestly has a daily goal for how many people they are peaking? every day and you've been consistent with it for at least a week or more. Shamika, what is your daily goal for peaking? Uh, my daily goal for peaking is 35. Excellent. Excellent. She's peaking 35 people a day. With those types of numbers, I can guarantee you she will hit her goal. Because there is absolutely no way that you can peak 35 people a day and not have someone say, yeah, I'm open to looking. Yeah, I like what I heard. I'm, I want to do a call. Yeah, I'm going to sign up. It's impossible. So with 35 people a day, let's, let's do the math on that. She's peaking 245 people a week. That's 980 people a month. You want to hit your goals? Those are the types of numbers you need to put up consistently. Keyword, consistently. You can't do 35 today and then you don't do another 35 until next week. It's just not going to happen. So you got to set a goal for yourself, whether it be a daily goal or a weekly goal right and that's going to look different for everyone because everyone has different responsibilities right everybody's household is not set up the same right we have some people that are single parents right and then you have other people who have two parents in the household so they have some support with those kids we got some people who don't have kids right we have some people who work full-time we have some people that are retired there's some people who work out of the home. There's some people who work in the home, right? There's some people that are going, working and going to school full time, right? Everybody's time looks different. And this is one of the reasons why we say compete, but don't compare, because you don't know how everyone's household is set up. But regardless of your house, how your household is set up, Everyone should have a daily or weekly goal for how many people you are going to peak, All right? Um, Beverly said her daily peak is 20 and she increased it from 12. Excellent, 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 excellent. Um, Rochelle said, I need to be more consistent, connect same day and expose. Yep. Consist consistency is a key. Um, 
Bethany says she's been following the script for uh, the PS3. Excellent. Are you talking about the Jappy 2.0? Those three different peaks. And that's all you really need to do. So if you haven't, okay, she said yes. And that's it right there, Bethany, to keep it really simple. If you watch my Jappy 2.0, I give you three ways to peak people. Just pick one of those three for whomever you're targeting and just set your number for how many people you're gonna peak every single day. And that's it, it's so simple. Yeah, I had to say this, it's, it's definitely been working. I, I wasn't really using it um, as I should in the beginning, but since I started using it the last couple of weeks, it's, I've seen a big difference in people who are responding and the number of calls I'm able to get on. So I definitely, definitely check it out and use it for sure. Absolutely, thank you for the feedback. Um, who else has a daily goal for peaking and, and have you been consistent with it? Nobody else? So really quick, I'm just gonna show you the peaks um, that Bethany is referring to. This is in our Team Lux Platinum group. It's also um, on my YouTube channel, Lifestyle by Tanisha. This is the first peak. Do you keep your options open to making additional streams of income outside of what you currently do as a teacher, as a real estate agent? Whatever they do for a living, you just fill in the blank. Super, super simple. Don't overthink it. Don't make it complicated, right? So all you need to know is what they do for a living and then ask them if they keep their options open to additional streams of income. Very, very simple. This works excellent with your cold market. The people you don't really know, you don't have a relationship with them. Maybe they're just, you're just friends with them on social media, but you don't know them, know them. This works well with people you meet out when you're out and about, you know, it's the server at your favorite restaurant right? It's your um, server at Starbucks that makes your favorite coffee, right? Asking them if they keep their options open, right? Maybe it's your your Uber driver, right? Maybe it's your Amazon or UPS delivery person, right? So you, you these are just your cold. Maybe it's the person that you meet at a festival or a carnival or a network marketing event, a networking event, or you just met them at a party. They're sitting next to you at the airport or on the train or on the bus. Very, very simple, right? And then the next one, if I could show you how to earn some additional income from home so that you could quit that second job so that you could help pay cash for college so that you could supplement your retirement is that something you'd be open to taking a look at, right? This one works very well and the most effective with your warm market. These are the people that you know, you know what's going on in their household, you know what the problem is in their life, you know what the hurt and pain is in their life, you know what they're dealing with. It's whatever the need so that you could buy a new car, so that you could purchase your first home, so that you could get out of credit card debt, so that you could retire within the next three to five years. Right, so again, once you know the need, you fill it in, super, super simple. And then the last one is loves to travel. Hey Kim, I know you love to travel. Girl, I saw you just got back from Aruba. Looks like you had an amazing time. Have you ever considered becoming a travel business owner so that you could do more of what you love and earn income? Or you might say, you know, if I could show you a way where you could travel more and earn income, is that something you'd be open to taking a look at? However you phrase this, it's just a question. Either they're open or they're not. So everyone, I promise you, if you use one of these three, and you just set a daily goal for how many people you're going to use it on, you can hit your goals. You can hit your goals. Any questions about those? 
Yes, I just want to see the trap on one real quickly. Sure, I'll go back. All right, thanks. I was going to rephrase this travel one to make it a yes or no question. Um, Come on, I'll ask you also do. Yes, I, I know you love okay. to travel. And then, you know, just ad lib, because how do you know you love to travel? Hey, I saw you just got back on a cruise or, you know, I saw you in Dubai or, you know, I saw you and your family at the beach. Have you ever considered becoming a travel business owner so that you could do more of what you love and earn income? Or again, you might phrase this, you know, if I could show you a way where you can travel even more and earn extra income, is that something you'd be open to taking a look at? I mean, there's so many ways you could phrase this, but basically you're asking a question. Hey, Constance, welcome. Taryn said, I'm becoming more consistent, still in learning mode. Great training opportunities daily, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. So see, Terrence is learning, hearing from all of you. Welcome, Pandora. Welcome, welcome. So everyone, it's so important. And even myself, I got to kind of get back to my daily goals. Um, it's so easy a lot of times to get stuck in that management trap, you know, working to help your team and, you know, to make sure everybody's doing what they need to do to hit their next level that it gets, it becomes very easy for you to fall off. And now you're not hitting your daily numbers because you're so busy helping everybody else. Um, and that's a real thing that, that, you know, we all at some point you're going to struggle with. Um, Director Short, you want to talk about it? Um, yeah, I, I was just gonna say I agree with you because when I leveled up to one star, the first thing I wanted to do was I want everybody else to level up too. Come on, let me let me help you, let me help you. But you know, like you said, everybody got different things in their household and they got different things they gotta attend to. So I had to step back and I'm like, Well, I still I the train still gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? So um yeah, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And the way you avoid getting stuck in the management trap is by just letting your team know, hey, if you need help, I'm here. And then sticking to your schedule. And so on your schedule, you should have your weekly goals of how many people you need to peak for the week, how many exposures, how many three-way calls you're gonna schedule, right? You should have your reading time on there. You should have the IMV on your schedule, basic training on your schedule, any team meetings, um, time set aside for following up, time set aside for um, posting on your social media. But basically, you should be tracking the income producing activities, exposures, peaking, and three way calls. And if you stick to your schedule and allow your schedule, to dictate your activity, you won't fall off track. You'll always hit your goal. And again, the key to being able to hit your weekly goal for peaks, exposures, and three ways is at the end of the week, let's say Sunday, you go to your running list, you grab the number of people you need to peak for the upcoming week. And now, now you got that list and you're ready to go. Right. So, you know, for um, let's say your goal is to peak five, pe five new people every single day. Well, on Sunday, you go to your running list, you grab the next batch of 35, and now you know exactly who you're going to be peaking during the week. How do you miss if you do that? You don't because it's right there. Director Short, you had a question? Yes, because I do have a few business partners on here. And I know some people, they get discouraged. So when you say, I wanted to ask Shamika, she reached out to, she peaked interest to 35 people, right? That's over 200 people a week. Out of 200 people that you're talking to, how many people are you actually getting to commit to join the business? Because I want people to know just because you, I'm sorry, I want people to know just because, because you reach out to six people 
that don't mean that they're automatically going to be ready to start the business today. You know, I'm like six people ain't nothing. Like, <laughs> So I did want Shamika to answer that for me if she can. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. So, yeah, those six people, yeah. I would say out of those um, people that say, I want to sign up, like, I want to sign up right now, they may not need an exposure. I say maybe two or three. Um, but out yes. of those same those same numbers of people, um, a, a majority of them I know, knows or not right now. Um, and I say out of those 245 people, I have gotten because some people probably, you know, um didn't answer me back yet. So I'm still waiting on those response. Some people told me, okay, get back with me next month or give me back, give me two weeks. Um, but I can say out of those that I really truly exposed and got them on the Zoom, 20 people. Yep, yep, that sounds about right. And yeah. then out of them 200 people, now next year, they might be reaching out to you and ready to start their business. You might get five out that batch. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to put yeah. that out there for people who feel like, okay, I talked to 10 people this week and nobody got back to me. It's like 10 people is you know, you got to you gotta find people that want the mindset of a business that want to go for it. Like, just because 10 people tell me no, that do not stop me. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to bless you. Have a good day, boo. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Let me give everyone the statistics. So if you're taking notes, you're going to want to write this down so that I can manage your expectations of what it's going to take um, to get these signups. Two out of every 100 people that you speak to will join the business right away. Two out of every 100. So that means this person is what well, is June 20th. This person was on their knees last night praying and asking God to make a way for them to be able to pay uh, July's mortgage or July's rent, and they still haven't paid all of June's. But then tomorrow, Miss Sarah Berry calls this person or reaches out to this person and say, hey, if I could show you a way to earn some additional income from home to help you pay your bills, is this something you'd be open to taking a look at? And they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's a confirmation. Yes, I was just praying and asking God. And then Sarah's going to send them a video. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Right? Sarah's going to send them a video. They're going to be like, she's going to say, yes, I'm interested. She's going to say, great. Are you available for a call tonight so I can get your questions? Yes. Uh, what time? Six o'clock. Right? Sarah's going to get that person on a three-way call with her senior um, business partner or her director. They're going to have the three-way call. At the end of the three-way call, the director, the, the expert on the phone is going to say, okay, are you ready to sign up? And they're going to say, yep, I'm ready. That happens two out of every 100 people that you speak to. That's it. Two out of every 100. Five out of every 100 people that you speak to will never, ever join the business no matter what. You could do everything right. You could say everything right. You could send them the right videos. I mean, everything went perfect, but it is a no for them. It's okay. Because we don't want everybody in our business. Do you realize if everybody joined Planet Marketing, the world would stop? Who would deliver your Amazon Prime packages? Hello? Who's gonna be available to give you your massages? Who's gonna be working in these stores and at you know and at the doctors? I mean, seriously, come on, y'all. Everybody's not gonna say yes. And if you think that, that's an unrealistic expectation. So stop it. It's not for everybody. Do you want unprofessional people on your team? Do you want people who are not going to take the time to learn how to properly book travel and then they go and mess up somebody's trip, causing all these problems, 
for IntelliTravel, right? Getting these bad reviews because someone was too lazy to learn and master their business. And now we got all these issues because they screwing up people's vacations. We don't want those people. Do we want the people who are not going to get registered for a convention so that they could take their business to the next level? No. Do we want people who are not going to take the time to learn our system and now they just going out there spamming people? No. We're not looking for everybody. We're looking for the hungry people, the right somebodies who, who want something out of life. So five out of every 100 people you speak to will never ever join the business no matter what. You could do everything perfect, but it's just not for them. And that's okay. Because guess what? I, I need my hair stylist to do my reties every four weeks. <laughs> and is she real busy in Planet Market and she can't do my hair? Now I got to find a new hair stylist. Come on. Think about that. We don't want everybody in the business. So that leaves 83. 83. I'm sorry, 93. 93 out of every 100 people that you speak to will need either more time or more information. 93 out of every 100 will need either more time or more information. So these are the people who, you know, they're on a three way call, but they don't have the money right now. They say, you know what, in two weeks, I'll be ready. Or you know what, it's the summertime, the kids are out of school, my schedule's all over the place. You know what, hit me back in September when the kids are back in school and I'm on a more stable schedule, I'll be ready. Right. Or, you know, it's it's November. You got them on a three way call. They love everything. You say, you know what? I love this. But right now with the holidays, I got all this stuff going on with Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know what? First of the year. Follow up with me first of the year. I'll be ready. Right. Or now it's January. You're doing your follow ups with people and they're like, you know what? I love it right now. I'm broke. <laughs> but as soon as I get my income tax, I'll be ready. Follow up with me in March, I'll be ready. Or, you know, you, you got them on a three-way call, they love everything, but they in real estate school. You know what, as soon as I finish my classes and pass this final exam, I'll be ready. But right now I can't take on that and this. 93 out of every 100 people you speak to will need either more time or more information. And it may take those people six months to a year before they're ready. So if everybody understands those statistics, that should help you determine whether, enough, whether or not you're speaking to enough people on a daily basis. And if you've been in the business six months, four months, and you haven't even peaked 100 people yet, you way behind the eight ball. You got to step it up. Right, because, um, sorry, Director Bird, uh -huh, but sometimes ahead. they be feeling like they um, posting too much on their social media and people getting irritated. I'm like, well, unfriend them. They can unfriend you. I'm here to make money. I'm not here to, I see you at the family reunion, cousin. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not about to, look, I don't want to sound too, but I'm not about to listen to nobody that got nothing going for themselves. The people who talking about you literally have nothing going for themselves. Mm -hmm. People who got something going for themselves and making money, they is not worried about what you posting. Like I, I just told my team today, Walmart, every time I turn on the TV, Walmart got a commercial. We know Walmart got everything we need. And they still promote their business. So why are you not? Right. Why your business not everybody? My be I post my business every day. I don't care. Every day. Anybody want to be a travel agent? Anybody need a trip book? Anybody need? I'm every day. 
If you don't like it, unfriend me, unfollow me, get off my page. So I can make room for somebody else who want to make some money. I'm here to change lives. You know what I'm saying? I love I love what I do. And like I say, I was that person that was praying. I was a single mom. I was sitting there. I had a one-year-old. Nobody wanted to babysit her. And I said, I have to do something. I can't depend on nobody but me. And this opportunity, it came, and, I, and I'm glad for it. So I just want to say, if anybody feel discouraged, stop worrying about what people on your friend list and thinking you posting too much. This is this. I follow a lot of business. Get business people on your page too, y'all. Get credit repair specialists. Get other people that do stuff so you can see there's other things out there. And everybody got a different mindset. You can't be friends with them people from school on Facebook all your life now. Like, they ain't do, they doing the same thing. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And I want to address this, and I'm glad you brought that up, um, Director Short. Posting on social media is not peaking. Write that down. If you're taking notes, you could tell me all day, oh, I'm posting, I'm posting. That's not peaking interest. When you post on your social media about this business, you're marketing. You're not peeking. It's you throwing spaghetti at the wall and hoping something sticks. That is not the work. That is not peaking interest. Okay? Peaking interest is if I reach out to Katrina, who I know has children, and I know she's struggling to pay her bills. And I say, hey, sis, listen, you know, I know you got the kids and, you know, you got a lot going on financially. But if I could show you a way to earn some additional income from home, you know, to take some of that pressure off of you, is that something you'd be open to taking a look at? What is Katrina going to say? She's going to say, absolutely. Thank you for thinking of me because, yeah, I'm tired of struggling. Because nobody's going to say no to something that's in their own best interest. I didn't make it about me trying to sign somebody up. I didn't make it about me trying to sell Katrina, you know, a travel agency. I made it about her and her situation. So, of course, she's going to tell me yes. That's peaking interest. Me doing a post saying, you know, who wants to make some extra money becoming a travel agent and booking trips. That's marketing. That's not peaking. And if that's what you're doing and you think you're going to build the business that way, it's not going to work. Unless you're an influencer. Are you an influencer who has tens of thousands of people following you, clinging to your every word? When you say jump, they say how high? If that's not you, you could be posting all day long and you will not hit your goal. You have to prospect. Prospect is when you have a one on one conversation with someone and you're asking them, are they open to looking? So I need y'all to be clear on the difference between marketing and prospecting. Because I got <laughs> beyond Lux Travel, she said, I got about 10 people clinging to my word. That's a start. That's a start. <laughs> Right, but unless unless you're an influence an influencer, y'all, I don't care if you post on your page every single day. If you're not an influencer, that's not gonna work for you. You have got to prospect. I'm not saying stop marketing. I'm saying you need to do both. Prospect and market. And you can learn to become an influencer so that you do have more people following you. But that's gonna take time. So you can't expect your brand new business partner that you just signed up, who was never really active on social media to begin with, to all of a sudden, you know, hit bronze, silver, and gold just by posting on social media. It's not going to happen. And you need to make it clear to them that that's not going to work. And so many times when I'm speaking to people um, or doing one-on-one -on -one coachings with people, and I say, okay, tell me, you know, what you're doing to, to grow your business. And the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, I'm posting. 
what now i see why your business is not growing because all you're doing is posting it's like you expecting someone to just knock at your door and say hey i want to join your business until you've been working this business consistently and you've learned to become an influencer and you become documented, that's just not going to work. It's not going to happen for a while. Eventually, if you stay consistent with it, eventually that'll happen. And you will have people who just randomly jump in your inbox and say, hey, I've been following you for a while. Um, how, how can I get started? That will happen eventually, but man, you got to take a whole lot of no's and be consistent for a whole lot of months, maybe even years, before you start to see that happening for you. Um, can I ask a quick question? Absolutely. Okay. Um. So what would you say is like, overdoing it as far as reaching out to prospects or uh, new clients or customers. Like I would reach out to people. I'm always reaching out to people and I'll have people that's really excited. I'll send them um, videos on my planet marketing, like to join, you know, um, or I'll send my website and they'll say like, okay, um, I want to get on, but I have this going on. So I'll be like, okay, we have a Zoom meeting on Sunday. Um, let's see you can get on. And now, okay, Sunday okay, comes. So right there, oh, I had this come up. So it's like, pause at for a what second. Point do you just say, pause okay, for a second? Too many times. Yeah. I don't want to, you know. No, no, no. Burden let's them go back or continue to reach out. You know. Hold on, Kanisha. Right there, when you said mm -hmm. when that when that person said, um, you know, you know, I want to get started, but I can't do it right now. Your response is, what date will you be ready with your $200 to get started? No, she asks about um, when she invite them to a presentation, and then they said they're too busy to attend the presentation. Okay, and then, so, okay yeah. so let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. There are several ways to show the plan, right? There's a, we have actually five ways to show the plan. Number one, videos, which is the easiest and most convenient, especially for bu busy people. Number two, we have webinars. Number three, we have hotel corporate meetings. Number four, we have PBRs, private business presentations. That's where someone's doing a presentation in someone's living room. And then number five, we have the on demand 24 hour call that someone can dial into to hear. Mm -hmm. So out of those five, Kanisha, the mm -hmm. easiest, most effective way and fastest way to expose someone, especially a busy person, is the video, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and so, so Kanisha, if, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. If I mm -hmm. know that you're busy, right, you're working full time, you got three, four kids, you know, they're active in sports and stuff. I know you're busy. Do do you think me inviting you to a webinar that's going to happen at 7 p.m. on a certain day is going to work for you better than me just sending you a video that you can watch when it's convenient for you? Uh, no, um, right. I, but I, I send the video, I send the video. Um, but it's something about those those live zooms that really lock people in. That's yeah. how I got my, and my that's one fine. Person. That's fine. I'm not I'm not saying don't invite people to the webinars. What I'm saying is if you want to get someone on the webinar, right? Because yes, the webinar, you get somebody on the webinar, they're gonna be sold. I I, I agree with you one hundred percent. But when someone says yes, okay, I will attend that webinar also send them the video just in case something happens and they can't get on the webinar and this way you don't miss the opportunity to expose them and so that's number one does that make sense kanisha yes ma'am okay and then the second part of that is you have to use bam fam 
B A M F A M, which stands for book a meeting from a meeting. So Kanisha, let me ask you a question. When you go to the doctor's office, you see the doctor or whatever, and then now you go to the front desk to check out, what do they do with you at the front desk before you leave? Schedule your, schedule your next, schedule the next meeting. Yes, ma'am. That's how professionals work. So when you are engaging with a prospect and you are inviting them to a webinar or a hotel meeting or whatever, even if you're inviting them to look at a video you're about to send, at that moment, schedule the next follow-up. And now you're not chasing people. And so if you're inviting them to the webinar tonight, it's okay, Stacy. you know, I'm gonna send you the information for the Zoom. Please jump on five minutes ahead of time because you know I don't want you to get locked out of the meeting because I know it's gonna max out. And I wanna schedule a follow-up with you for Wednesday. What's a good time? <laughs> And so now you're going to schedule that follow up with Stacy for, you know, Wednesday at 8 p.m. But remember, you're still sending her the video. Say, listen, I'm going to send you a couple of videos that'll just give you just a taste of what the webinar is going to provide. But the webinar is going to give you a lot, a lot more detail and you'll have an opportunity, you know, to get your questions answered as well. And so now when Wednesday comes, even if Stacy did not get a chance to get on the webinar because something happened, she still got the video. And you already got the three-way call set up because you booked it at the same time that you invited her. Does that make sense, Kanisha? Does that answer your questions? Yes, yeah, that's really helpful. Because <laughs> I, I, I have a lot of people that, and I mean, it's been a few that, that catch the the Zoom, and they're really excited, and it's like, okay, let's start. Let's start the business, and probably something, but that was very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Beverly? I see you got your hand up, Beverly. You're on mute, Bev. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. My, my goodness, you have talked about so many great things. I, you know, my head is just just going over here but um i love the fact that you talked about the different ways that we expose and using that video as the key but as you also share making sure that i'm also you know like you said book a meeting from a meeting what, what's next what's coming up next so in my head i um i i already know what's happening you know primarily for the week because i have laid out my calendar and i have a weekly calendar so i know what what event is coming up next you know and for me um i use them all i use all the tools even that on demand call i was with um mr moore and somebody showed up at a meeting and she had missed the meeting so i we did go up to meet mr moore but he looked at me he said on demand beverly and i didn't have to like what is he talking about i haven't do any of that i took her in the hall I let her listen to the on demand. And then I was able to share some uh, information with her. Long story short, I don't think she saw anything else. This woman ended up, you know, coming into the business, but that was because I was prepared because I knew how to, you know, what, what tools I have available. Yeah. And like you were saying, you got to know what's next. Everybody doesn't have time um, to go to a meeting. Everybody doesn't have time to, you have to know the individual and what they like. Like, I'm not big on videos. I'm just, I mean, you could probably send me a video. I may or may not get to it. But if you, I, I, I'm that touchy feely person. If you take me to an event, I'm going to come and that's how you're going to get my answers. But you got to know that, you know, be filling out your, your prospect to see what's the best way to connect with them. And like you said, get that information in front of them and keep it in mind what's next book a meeting from a meeting know everything that's coming up next you know i know what's happening tonight i know what's happening tomorrow so i got every event or every opportunity in my head including the ones from the planet marketing live we have those video uh the planet marketing lives um presentations that the leaders are doing those are available to us as well yeah so, and that's every monday tuesday and thursday, thursday and they're yes, recorded so yes. at any time, 24 hours a day, 
seven days a week, 365 days a year, you can just tag someone in one of those Planet Marketing Facebook Live presentations. So you don't have to wait for a certain time and a certain day to expose someone to a webinar. You can actually go to the Planet Marketing Facebook page right now and tag someone in last week's webinar. And you have the best of the best of the directors doing those presentations because they don't let just anybody do the Planet Marketing Live presentations on the Facebook page. You have to be invited um, or referred to by um, a senior director in order to do that, All right? And if you are inviting to the webinars, please make sure that it's a quality presentation because there are some people who are doing these webinars and they're running over an hour long and that shouldn't be. And then if your prospect thinks that it's going to require an hour long plus to expose someone, they're going to say, oh, I don't have time for this. I can't do it. So you got to be very, very careful about the webinars that you are exposing them to. That webinar presentation, the actual like presentation part should be 30 minutes. The information from top to bottom should be shared within the first 30 minutes. Now, if it goes longer, it should be because of Q&A. But the actual um, sharing of the information about the business, what it is, how it works, should be in and out within 30 minutes for a webinar. 30 minutes. Again, if it goes longer because there's a lot of Q&A and all that, that's different. I get that. But at least once the prospect got the actual information about the business, they could jump off if, if they don't have the time. But I, again, I want to be clear. If you are doing a webinar presentation or you are inviting your prospect onto a webinar presentation, the actual sharing of the business information what it is, how it works, should be communicated within the first 30 minutes. If it's taking longer than that, don't, I would not be utilizing or leveraging that presentation. Because you got to think of, you got to put yourself in the, in the place of your prospect, that person who is busy. And if they think that it's going to require an hour plus to show the plan to someone, and they're not going to do it. They're going to give you the excuse, I don't have that kind of time. Again, for me, this is why I utilize, I, utilize, I close 99.9% .9 of my people with videos. I rarely get someone onto a webinar. And then if I expose them with the video and they don't sign up because they're not ready or whatever, then my next exposure will be a webinar. But I'm gonna close you with a 10 minute video. If that don't work, then I'm gonna get you to a 30 minute webinar presentation. If that don't work, then I'm gonna invite you to a 60 minute hotel meeting. You see there's levels to this thing. I utilize the levels, but you gotta work, you gotta do what works for you. And Beverly said it, you gotta know your prospect. Older people like those baby boomers, they need an in-person meeting. That's what they're used to, eyeball to eyeball, belly to belly. Your Generation Z, you can close them with videos. That, that's the digital generation. So they're used to videos. Th these are the TikTokers. Gen Z, you can close them with a video. Boom, the, the boomers, they gonna need that belly to belly hotel meeting. Generation X, my generation, we can go either or. We could do a webinar. We could do a video. We, we're that generation because we were raised by the baby boomers and we were that generation that got exposed to the technology. So we, we, we're kind of comfortable with anything. My generation, generation X. But boomers are going to want that face-to-face. -face. 
Generation Z, they so busy, they like, I don't have a lot of time. They, they have a very short attention span. So you gotta know your audience. Any questions? Was today's topic helpful? Anybody have some aha moments or some information that they can take and utilize today? I did. I like what you just said, actually, about um, the different generations and what works best for them. I never thought about that. I've got um, a few people who are younger, probably um, millennial to Gen Zs um, on that range. And I've been trying to get them to come to the meetings. And I think instead of that, I need to just send them like the Facebook, like like you said, tag them on the Facebook live um, webinar. So thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good. Pandora said very helpful. Let me go to Facebook. What's up, Paulette? I see you. Thank you. Hey, Danette. Danette agreed. She said, yep, videos work for the younger generation. When you're working your business, everyone, take yourself out of it. It's not about you. You have got to focus more on your prospect. And you got to listen. I had a great, great conversation uh, after the Orlando meeting last night with some business partners who were kind of struggling with, you know, closing the deal and, and getting people to the three way call. And I had them give me an example. So here was the example. Um, they were at a restaurant and their waiter, they peaked their waiter or the waiter was saying that they had multiple jobs. So they didn't just work at that place. They had some other things going on too, you know, to make ends meet. And so they peaked the person by asking them, you know, if I could show you a way to make some, you know, additional streams of income, is that something you'd be open to taking a look at? What do you think the person's response was? Yes. They don't have time. There you go, Constance. There you go. That was their response. They don't have time. So the business partner, what they neglected to do was really listen to what the prospect was saying. When I hear that this is not your only gig your only job and you got other things going on what i'm hearing is you're in time debt you barely have enough time to sleep let alone enjoy life so when i ask you if i could show you a way to make some additional streams of income the first response you're gonna get is i don't have any time so you want me to take the little bit of time that i have to build in a to, to generate another, that's not what the person needs. And so I told him, I said, no, what you should have said is, wow, you know, you nobody should have to work multiple jobs to live their best life. But if I could show you a way to make some additional income from home so you don't have to work two and three jobs, is that something you'd be open to taking a look at? Guess what they're going to say? Yes they would have automatically said yes. Why? Because nobody says no to something that's in their own best interest. And so of course, you know, the business partner, they had the aha moment. They're like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, yeah, I was like, you got to listen more than you talk. You don't want to work multiple jobs. Nobody does. So listen for the need and address the need. Stop trying to sell people a travel agency or a way to make extra income if that's not the problem. His problem was time debt. That was the most important thing. Constance? Hey, uh, I'm glad to be on here. Welcome back, Tanisha. Glad to see you feeling better. Thank you. Okay, this happened to me yesterday at work. Did y'all not work at the airport, right? Well, some of y'all, I work at the airport, I do TSA. So um, I was just getting to work. I had to go and I forgot my earbuds. So I went downstairs to get to my car to get my earbuds. 
there was an Uber driver. There was an Uber driver sitting in the parking lot. So she pulled me over. She said, can you ask, tell me what time the next flight comes in, what, what time the flight comes in, blah, blah, we did all that, right? So she was sitting in her car looking tired, whipped, like she just needed to get some rest, right? So um, we were talking and um, I said, well, what, what do you, you what, well, what else? Because she said she was tired. She does this, she does that. So what else do you do besides um, drive an Uber? So well, she does Forex. She has her own business that she, she's a, um, um, one of those uh, speaker that you know you snap your fingers after they finish. She's one of those, um, and she drives Uber. I said, "Well, do you like everything that you?" She said she likes you know forks and stuff like that. But I said, "Well, do you like driving Uber? Because you look right sleepy, <laughs> right?" I mean, she looked like she was about to fall asleep. She said, "Well, she works. She works. And she's been working in Greenville all day long, driving through all since last night." Um, she lives in Fayetteville, which is like about an hour and a half or so away. She had to come back to pick this person up because the flight. But she's like, oh, oh my God. I said, well, do you like driving Uber? Because you look really sleepy and you need to be home getting some rest because you can't keep driving around like this. You're tired. She said, no. I said, well, I got so I said, well, if I can show you a way that you can create income and be at home right now, sleeping in your bed and just have to work an hour or so. Um, a day, you know, making more than what you're making with Uber, would that interest you? She said, yes. I said, well, because I didn't have my cards on me. So I said, give me your phone number and I can send you my, you know, the information and stuff like that. So um, she gave me her card. She gave me her card. Her email was on it. So I emailed her on my business card. And I'm, while we were talking, I said, I have to um, follow up with her because this was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I have to follow up with her. She was tired, honey. She, she, I mean, eyes was closing and everything. I said, you need to be home sleeping and then this business right here can pay you. you know? I said, well, I, I said, she likes to travel. She mm -hmm. said, well, I would like to. I said, well, you like to make extra money. I said, you have all this stuff going on, you know? So I went, that's, I went that route. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's that's yeah, she was tired. She was sleeping. But that's the main thing, everyone. Focus on the needs of that person. And if you do that, you will always get a yes. All right. So that concludes virtual coffee break with Tanisha for the day. Thank you so much uh, for taking some time to get on. I missed all of you and I'm glad I didn't have a coughing spell uh, during this presentation. So that means I'm on the road to recovery. So everyone have an amazing day. Set those weekly goals, right? And make sure you hit your goals. Have a great one, everyone. Love y'all. Bye. Love y'all. Peace.